What are you doing? I was trying to post about my knee sleeves. Bro. Everybody, welcome back to Lifter Sizing with Bruce Volume Deuce. We are, I just, I finally actually looked it up. So we're 11 and a half weeks from North Americans. I have one more week of this training block. So things are pretty darn heavy, pretty intense right now. We'll have one more week next week, although I'm getting a big tattoo covering up the Chihuahua. For those of you who might have liked that tattoo, Sorry, not sorry, but I can't stand it. So I'm getting a big tattoo over top. I don't know how knee sleeves are gonna interact with that, but anyways, next week will be heavy. And then I'm deloading for two weeks and then we go into the, the actual kind of sort of peak uh, for, for North, Amer North Americans. Yeah, so that'll be, uh, I think I compete like the 12th of August. And yeah, let's see if we can vlog a whole training period without me exploding or destroying myself fingers crossed so today we did some pretty heavy squats last time I squatted I squatted 280 and it was the most beautiful exquisite 280 that I've ever squatted like seven maybe seven and a half just absolutely flew felt like a little feather on my back so my plan coming in today was to try to take five more kilos take a jump on that right Unfortunately, 265, my last warm up, kind of didn't feel super hot. I think I, I misgrooved it a little bit. I was going a bit overly deep, I think, in some of my warm ups and decided to go with 282 and a half. So, a two and a half kilo jump over my last squat. And it was right at eight. So, it wasn't necessarily as good as the last time I squatted, but it was right at eight. Prescription was single at eight. So, I'm happy with that. Just being able to actually lift to the point where I can hit an eight on strength is, is so cool. It just is something that I haven't been able to do for a really long time because of injury after injury, after setback, after setback, after injury. And right now, knock on wood, I have no major injuries. Yeah, I got to make some pains and some things that kind of feel a little crappy, but overall things are hanging in there, so. That's good. I was able to do some decently heavy back off work, um, 260 for a couple of doubles. And that's, you know, I was doing singles there not long ago and they were hard. So to be able to do submaximal work and get work in with that was pretty cool as well. And then proceeded to kind of just run the gamut. I smashed myself with a bunch of feet up, sets of eight. I went and did the back extension. I like to do barbell snatch grip back extensions. I had a, I've had, since I went up to 120, I've had difficulties with lockout on my deadlift. And it seems to be that my back gets stuck. I can't get into the same position, I can't get as hips low, I can't get as extended, whatever it is, I end up missing higher in the range of motion than I did when I was lighter. So I think that by hammering those back extensions, that should help. And also just hammering a lot of upper back work again today uh, had, like four plates and some change on the, the chest supported row. Uh, that thing is one of my favorite, favorite rows I've ever used and I love that thing. Mostly probably because I can load the shit out of it. So that, that feels good. Maybe it just strokes the ego, but it feels like good work as well. And today, SBD announced finally their new knee sleeves. Now I've had these, ooh, look at that, would you, how convenient it was that I had one of these right next to me the whole time. I had one of the, I've had a pair of these for a long time. Uh, even back when I was rehabbing my knee. First time I used them was for a front squat set of eight with 90 kilos. And I was like, I'm sorry, I don't know if I can tell you anything of an opinion or, or anything, you know, in, in relation to how I was talking to SPD. Basically like, I, I'm not squatting right now, I can't do anything worthy of note where I could actually put these things to the test, but these last few sessions, I have. So, 
If you're interested in a full-blown review, let us know in the comments below. Obviously, I am an SPD sponsored athlete. I have a bias. I have not used the Inzer, the Titan, the A7, etc. So, you know, take my thoughts, my opinion with a grain of salt. Just want to be fully transparent on that. But I friggin' love these things. They're heavy and weighty and beefy. And I really do think, and we made that video kind of making fun of, you know, sleeves that were like, oh, we're stiff, we can hold up a lot of weight. I don't think stiff is the win. I don't think just, you know, what's, what's the evolution of stiff? We put a PVC pipe over our knee? Like the cardboard box thing was only so far of a parody. What I think these SPD sleeves get right is that you put them on and it literally feels like they just, like they constrict on your knee. They, they provide like a really, really tight fit and seal. And that to me, combined with the thickness of the material and the, the, they are stiffer for sure than the other SBD sleeves, but it's like the right amount of stiffness. There's actually some elasticity to them. And it seems like, you know, if the point now in powerlifting for raw lifters is to get knee sleeves that give you carryover, go equip lift, put on some knee wraps, come on, then I think these are the best. I think these are the best ones. I, I haven't tried all the other ones, so what do I know about the best? But these are my favorite. I like them a lot. They feel great. I've had really good squat sessions in them. As somebody with a bunch of knee issues, I like them. I like the compression. I think the stiffness from some of the other competitors might make my knee feel worse, whereas this is like a boa constrictor giving a 70% hug. So, anyways, they're dope. I like them. We also launched the apparel. You can see I've got these cool, cool shorts on with the gorilla skull. Can't see, you can't see it, but I'm wearing them. Uh, and this fancy shirt that's at least two tone because I've sweat through it, beating the crap out of myself with heavy circles. Anyways, we launched the apparel. If you think it's cool, go check it out. For those of you who have and have picked something up and supported us, thank you, thank you so much. Most of it is sold out, apparently, I'm hearing. Um, but there are select sizes left. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Check out the Calgary Barbell Training app. It's our baby. It's our pride and joy. You can find links for all that kind of stuff in the description box below. Let us know if you like the video. We are answering some of the questions from the comments on our Instagram. We're making them into shorts. So if you want to go check those out or post comments, that's where we're going to be answering them. And we'll see you next time. Peace.